Hey, I'm Wes1234. Um, this is my response video to your survey. Sorry it's a little late. Um, I'm still going to get something on paper, but it just didn't happen, so I'm going to wing it. Here goes. Question number one How old were when you decided you were an atheist? I'm paraphrasing because I wrote them down quickly. Um, when I actually decided I was an atheist, I would say probably somewhere around 16, 17, something like that. 15, 16, 17 in that general. I didn't have a, um, which is one of your last questions, there wasn't really a distinguishing event, um, but it was just through my own reading, researching, thought processes, things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, probably right in there I actually decided, you know what, I, I, I would consider myself, if I had to put a label on myself, I guess it would have been an atheist then. Um, were you an agnostic, or was there an agnostic period prior to uh, becoming an atheist? Maybe when I was um, really young, you know, I didn't grow up in a in a in a you know theistic environment, so to speak. Um, I remember going to church a couple of times when I was a kid. You know, we went on. Um, I remember going on a couple of holidays, but my parents, who both um, believe in God or claim to believe in God, um, but they never pushed um, theism or any kind of belief on us, any of us, my brothers. So, which was, which I, you know, of course, later in life uh, was thankful for. But um, maybe when I was a small child, you know, and. I've always had a fr I, I'm I am have always when I speak to people about you know when I hear people say something about um, knowing God and I've always known you know I, I always rebuttal with the fact that I've never met you know I've never met or spoken to one person that I know that I know well that can really remember any kind of uh, instance or have such a, uh, a young memory of just knowing the word God, knowing there's something that created us in this, that even thought in that manner. Um, so I would say maybe, you know, when you hear the word God, people talk about God and God's out there watching you and things, and maybe Maybe I was an agnostic because I was so young and you know wasn't developed cognitively, but um, you know I, I can't really think of any particular agnostic period. Um, but then again, there's always that um, that argument that a lot of people make, and even atheists, some atheists that say you know um, atheists are agnostics as well <clears throat> in some way, but. Um, I guess I'm always looking and searching and and trying to learn and um, identify, but um, number three, what were early indicators of becoming an atheist? Uh, I don't know, like I say, just, I, w I guess I would have to say just my, um, you know, just some of the I think it had a lot to do with coming in contact with Christians in my life and hearing some of the um, demonstrative uh, doctrine, you know, vomited in my lap and, um, you know, thinking you know, that how could an, you know, omniscient, omnipotent, 
omnipresent, benevolent being, you know, perfect being like a creator or the Bible God could, um, you know, could demonstrate such uh, atrocities and things of that nature in the Bible itself. And, and um, a lot of it just didn't make sense, you know, a lot of the contradictions and it, it just it didn't make sense to me. And, um, you know, I won't, I, I'm not going to say that I was, I was thinking logically at all times. It just, you know, seemed to be a compilation of my own thoughts and, and, um, my own rationales that, that gave me that, you know, that started to say, you know what, it's just, it's, nah, it's not, doesn't add up. So, um, what prevented me being an atheist sooner. Hmm. I don't know. I um, I guess I never really. It was never something that was so predominant. Never in the forefront of my mind. I mean, I've always been a very open person. Um, I've always been uh, someone who likes to, like I said before, you know, explore, read, research. I, I like to look at all aspects of a situation, you know, the pros, the cons, the the fors, the againsts, you know, everything and, and try to make an assessment. At, at least I try to do that with everything. And so, I mean, even early on before I claimed to be an atheist, you know, I, I was into, I, I was heavily into like certain mythologies and, and learning about different gods and things like that. Never claimed a belief per se. Um, it was always very interesting. I mean, I was, you know, I had, did some geeky, you know, I had some geeky stuff in my life when I was a kid. I mean, you know, not necessarily scientific stuff. You know, I was, I was one of those D and D nerds. So I, you know, and I saw that as more of a, um, a, a catharsis for, uh, you know, my imagination an outlet so you know I was very creative I mean I played an instrument I did a whole bunch of different things in, in school so um, I was somewhat artistic though I could never I can't draw a lick barely draw um, but uh, you know I, I saw that as more of just a, 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 a cre um, creative outlet maybe um, I don't know but uh, I, I never really it never came to the forefront of my mind uh, you know I'm now just within my you know I'm 35 and just being in my late 20s and 30s I would say is probably where I was when I've become the most verbal um, about it about my beliefs and, um, and most verbal about my opinions I didn't have a problem giving someone my opinion if they asked it or if I felt they were being a little too demonstrative with their religion. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of where, that's, I guess that's number four. Uh, number five, single defining event resulting in atheism. I can't say there really was one. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think, you know, I've, uh, there's been a lot of everybody has things that happen in their life, you know, um, crystallizing events that sometimes cause them to believe something or not believe something. And I've had, you know, very close deaths in the family and things like that. But there wasn't anything that, you know, nothing that said, "Oh, there is no God." I just through critical thinking and and you know research and and looking at religion itself, it just just didn't add up. It doesn't seem right to me. Um, so those are my answers. Uh, so sorry it's late. And peace everybody.